For more than a couple of decades, pretty much no one was interested in what Blender has to offer as a 3D software except a loyal user base and some small VFX and game development studios. But since it became popular, I mean really popular, more and more people are interested in it, especially companies, but not just any type of companies. I'm talking about giant ones like Epic, Meta, Intel, AMD, Ubisoft, and so on. With Epic giving Blender a $1.2 million as part of Epic's mega grant a couple of years ago. So all of a sudden they are helping Blender. You might think they are doing this to market their products and services by taking advantage of its popularity, but others say they are helping Blender grow as a 3D software. Or are they? Now, let me take a moment and tell you about Skillshare, one of the largest learning communities on the web with a massive and ever-growing library of basically anything you want to delve into. Skillshare offers classes on a wide variety of topics including illustration, graphic design, photography, UI and UX design, and much more. This year is around the corner, and the holiday season is upon us, which is a perfect time to pick up a new skill, especially as an artist, or maybe a new side hustle. So if for example you want to start learning Blender, Houdini, 3ds Max, Maya, ZBrush, or Unreal, I recommend Nextat classes. If you want to get started with Blender, I recommend this introduction class that spans over 18 hours. And if you want to delve into sculpting using ZBrush, there is this Dynamic Male Anatomy class which is very helpful. And if you want to learn Maya and Substance, this class called Low Poly Character Making might be useful for you. So click the first link in the description and join a class for free. And the first 500 people to use the link will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare. Companies like Epic Games, Ubisoft, Google, and Meta, I think first of all are interested in the open source nature of a 3D software like Blender. And to be honest, we don't know in what direction a commercial software developed by a company such as Autodesk would go. And there are many examples of studios and companies finding a different software because what they relied on became different over time and doesn't serve their best interest anymore, or it was discontinued altogether. Blender's open source nature also means that these companies can actively participate in steering the software development, and this is a very important point. So by contributing to Blender, they can ensure that the tool evolves in ways that benefit their specific production pipelines and needs, especially technological needs. Because to be honest, most of the companies investing in Blender are technology companies. This provides a level of influence and control that they would not have with proprietary software like Max, Maya, Houdini, and so on. Because they are owned by big companies and change is really hard and requesting features and tools may take a very long time. And we will talk about this later. I think it can also be a publicity stunt to a certain category of people. Let me explain. By supporting an open source platform like Blender, these companies promote a democratization of tools, making high quality software available to individuals and small studios that might not afford the more expensive alternatives. This can also go hand in hand with what we might call a strategic value in aligning with the open source movement. And to be honest, we have a lot of open source software that became popular lately. Software like GIMP, Creta, Inkscape, SculptGL, Make Human, and more. I'm not gonna lie. Seeing these companies supporting a great tool like Blender and a great cause such as funding the Blender Development Fund makes me appreciate these companies because the general consensus towards these companies is either indifference or hate. So, for companies like Google and Meta, in addition to Epic and so on, which have significant interest in the broader technology ecosystem, supporting open source projects I think helps nurture the goodwill of the development community as well. And it can serve to a certain extent as a showcase to their commitment to help the average Joe. And I'm gonna call this probably image laundering or maybe art washing. But other than that, actually these companies can use Blender for their own projects as a main 3D software. Let's take Meta for example. 
they can ask for VR tools and features that can be integrated in Blender to make sure that their developers and artists can create and test their next products that require VR headsets, especially in 3D. Also, Epic Games is one of the biggest winners in this collaboration between Blender Development Fund and their company, which is the owner and developer of the Unreal Engine, which I would say is the most popular game engine alongside Unity, of course. So this can be a very strategic move on their part, especially since there are a lot of game developers who use Blender as a 3D software. And they would be very happy to use Unreal as their game engine of choice, especially after the goodwill of Epic Games. And we are not talking about a few bucks here and there. They actually donated more than a million dollars under their Epic grant. Honestly, it was a huge surprise and a big news at the time. So Epic can also ask for features that help game developers using Blender to streamline their pipeline to be suited with Unreal Engine and better suited for game developers in general. AMD and their products such as GPUs and their render engines can also take advantage of supporting Blender, I mean in a good way. This can bring awareness to AMD GPUs in addition to maybe making Blender as a 3D software that is more compatible with AMD GPUs which makes a lot of sense. But I think the people who can use Blender best are studios such as Ubisoft, because Blender can be of great use to Ubisoft animation studios that can use it for animation projects, since they are now part of the development fund. Honestly, I think it is an unspoken moral obligation to support Blender since they are a big company and they might use it for commercial purposes in the animation industry or even the game development industry. So it is a win-win, I would say. On the other hand, I think we can clearly see that this can generate some future revenue. As someone said, you're gonna be selling more GPUs if you're Nvidia or AMD, and you're gonna sell a lot of processors if you're Intel, and VR headset if you're Meta, and game assets if you're Unity or Epic, just as an example. Other than marketing their products, I think investing in Blender ecosystem can be seen as a long-term cost-saving strategy, especially if used in real productions like we said Ubisoft Animation Studios. So instead of falling funds into expensive software, they can reallocate resources to support Blender and potentially use it for free. One aspect that not many people think about is by being at the forefront of supporting Blender that these companies position themselves as a so-called leaders and key contributors to the future of digital content creation. We as individuals might not think about this too much, but this can enhance their brand reputation not just among users and developers, but also with the wider technology and entertainment field. Now, the question that is begging to be asked, are these companies helping Blender or just using it to serve themselves? I would say it is a bit of both. They are helping Blender because maybe some of them see it as a good cause, but also to help them further advance their own products or image. For me personally, I think it is a win-win situation for companies like Epic, Intel, AMD, and so on, because Blender has a huge audience base. On the other hand, I think the biggest winner here is Blender itself and its development. I mean future development, because these funds can help Blender keep the excellent rate of development that it has in its way to become a better 3D software. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.